With the winnings of the 2023 Oscars and the upcoming Tony Awards, the press and media have mainly covered the achievements of outstanding directors, actors, and producers. But without the effort of the behind-scenes artists, these shows and films wouldn't have been brought to life. Today, we have invited two backstage designers who will show us the world of their recent artworks and the highlight of the process. Jennifer Yu Qingcao is a set designer currently working and studying at the production and design studio at NYU Tisch Drama. I am a bit different in my sensibility because、mm-hmm. I, when I listen to the music, I see the color and I smell、oh. it. So I have the sense that kind of like just、um, goes around. And when I design a set, I also、mm-hmm. don't see itself as a visual only. It's something、mm-hmm. that I can smell, I can touch.、Oh. And I hope the audience also can like be able to smell when they see the thing and they have the audio going in their head, no matter the sound is on or not. It's a memory evoke.、Um, mm-hmm. So for me, that's my mission to、mm-hmm. kind of share that feeling to people and to connect people in that sense. Here is a blue morpho for you. Is one of her shows that has sets and handmade props independently designed by Jennifer. For that show, it started from、um, talking to the director Eileen. Why the reason why she want to create this show is because her family and her grandpa, and we came up to the idea of the threads, because DNA are spiral, and also in China we talk about like people how connected by the red thread. So、mm-hmm. thread become a very big concept in the beginning of the show, and then you will see in the end of the show is also a big part of it. The characters are driven by memories, examining the closeness and distance. For Jennifer, visualizing these abstract meanings into sets became her challenging mission. Sometimes we don't have scripts. In NYU, we do device pieces a lot. And device pieces means that we don't have scripts. There's a concept, and the director explore the concept with the actors to get in the rehearsal room, and they create the scripts. Like I think one of the biggest part as being a theatrical designer is that you are able to change constantly with different people's opinion. Like the director may not like this one, so you have to change to the other one. The constantly changing nature of collaborating and designing applies to set designers and special effects makeup artists. Rob Benavides, a alum and current special effects makeup professor of Tisch Film, share his journey from working in the industry to teaching. But actually, the happiest I've been was when I actually was hired here full time to teach, because what that's enabled me to do is impart my love of this art form to my students. But also have enough time to create my own art on the side. So actually, I feel very free now because I don't have to freelance. I don't have to wonder where my next paycheck's coming from, things like that. And I love the fact that in masks you can paint the eyes right and the teeth, and then put gloss, so it looks like there's like you know glass eyes in there and like real teeth. I feel like the shiny against the matte really draws your eye into certain certain aspects. I agree. I think it, that makes it m- more real in a sense. Yeah,、like、totally. Have this light difference. Yes, yes, for sure. You know, like this one, I'm I'm painting like realistic skin, and I'm doing all the colors, but there's really no match to silicone. Like how realistic you can get it.、Yeah. That that's what's so cool about.、Silicone. And I like how stretchy it could be. Oh yes, totally. It stretches and it's it's really like. Flexible, and this one's silicone as well. This is really cool. This is done from a cast of a friend of mine, so I cast her face, and then I poured silicone into the mold. So it's just solid silicone. But you know, after you paint it, it looks very realistic. The journey to becoming a special effects makeup artist is not easy. Designers have to proactively learn various skills and constantly innovate with the advent of new techniques. There's a lot of steps to creating, you know, a special effects makeup. You have to design it. You have to conceive it. You have to know how to sculpt. You have to study anatomy. You have to know how to paint, how to apply prosthetics on set. There's there's so many parts of it, and it's so difficult in a way to do and、um, and taxing on you that if you don't love it, then it shouldn't be something I don't think you should pursue. I think it has to be really a part of you. So that's another reason why I love my class so much because it enables people to actually sit down and it's a practical art class and I I think that's important to keep that spirit alive.